Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says A dietitian wishes to mix together two kinds of food X and Y in such a way that the mixture contains at least 10 units of vitamin A, 12 units of vitamin B and 8 units of vitamin C. The vitamin content of 1 kg food is given below. Food X contains 1 unit of vitamin A, 2 units of vitamin B and 3 units of vitamin C and food Y contains 2 units of vitamin A, 2 units of vitamin B and 1 unit of vitamin C. 1 kg of food X costs rupees 16 and 1 kg of food Y costs rupees 20 find the least cost of the mixture which will produce the required diet. So let's start the solution. Let us assume that the mixture contains 1 kg of food eggs and y kg of food y. So we have x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0. Now according to the question, a dietitian wishes to mix together two kinds of food X and Y in such a way that the mixture contains at least 10 units of vitamin A and food X contain 1 unit of vitamin A per kg and food Y contain 2 units of vitamin A per kg. So we have x plus 2y greater than equal to 10. So this is a constraint on vitamin A. Again, the dietitian wishes to mix together two kinds of food X and Y in such a way that the mixture contains at least 12 units of vitamin B and food X contains 2 units per kg of vitamin B and food Y contains 2 units of vitamin B per kg. So the constraint on vitamin B is 2x plus 2y greater than equal to 12. That is x plus y greater than equal to 6. Again, the dietitian wishes that the mixture should contain at least 8 units of vitamin C and the vitamin C content of 1 kg of food X is 3 units and vitamin C content of 1 kg of food Y is 1 unit. Now this is a constraint on vitamin A. This is a constraint on vitamin B and we have the constraint on vitamin C as 3x plus y greater than equal to 8. Now the total cost
Z of purchasing X kg of food X and Y kg of food Y is Z is equal to 16X plus 20Y. Hence, the mathematical formulation of the problem is minimize Z is equal to 16X plus 20Y subject to the constraints X plus 2Y greater than equal to 10. X plus Y greater than equal to 6. 3X plus Y greater than equal to 8. X greater than equal to 0. And Y greater than equal to 0. So our objective function is z is equal to 16x plus 20y and we have to minimize z. Let us take this as number 1 and these are the given constraints. Let us take this as number 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now we will draw the graph and find the feasible region subject to these given constraints. Now, the equation of the line corresponding to the inequality x plus 2y greater than equal to 10 is x plus 2y is equal to 10. So, we will first draw the line representing the equation x plus 2y is equal to 10. Now, clearly the points 0, 5 and 10, 0 lie on the line x plus 2y is equal to 10. Therefore, the graph of this line can be drawn by plotting points 0, 5 and 10, 0 and then joining them. Let us take A as the point 0, 5 and B as a point 10, 0. So, AB is the line which represents the equation x plus 2y is equal to 10. Now, AB divides the plane into two half planes. Now, the half plane which does not contain the origin is the Graph of 2. Again, the equation of the line corresponding to the inequality x plus y greater than equal to 6 is x plus y is equal to 6. Clearly, the points 0, 6 and 6, 0 satisfies the equation x plus y is equal to 6. So, the graph of this line can be drawn by plotting the points 0, 6 and 6, 0 and then joining them. Now, let us take C as the point 0, 6 and D as the point 6, 0. So, CD represents the line x plus y is equal to 6. Again, 
the line CD divides a plane into two half planes. We will consider the half plane which satisfies three. So the half plane which does not contain the origin is the graph of three. Now again the equation of the line corresponding to the inequality 3x plus y greater than equal to 8 is 3x plus y is equal to 8. So we can draw this line by plotting the point which satisfies the equation 3x plus y is equal to 8. Now clearly the points 0, 8 and 8 over 3, 0 satisfies the equation 3x plus y is equal to 8. Now let us take E as the point 0, 8 and F as the point 8 over 3, 0. So EF represent the line 3x plus y is equal to 8. Now clearly the half plane which does not contain the origin satisfies 4. So we will consider that half plane only. Again x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 implies that the graph lies in the first quadrant only. Now we know that the point of intersection of two lines can be determined either by observing the graph or by solving the two equations of the lines. So we observe that the lines AB, CD and EF intersect at three points. Let us take these as L. M and N. So the coordinates of L are 1, 5 and the coordinates of M are 6 by 5, 22 by 5 and the coordinates of N are 2, 4. Now here the yellow shaded portion in the graph is the feasible region satisfying all the given constraints. Now here the feasible region is unbounded. with coordinates of the corner points as E08 L with coordinates 1, 5 N with coordinates 2, 4 and B with coordinates 10, 0. Now we will evaluate Z at these corner points. Now, at the point E with coordinate 0, 8, Z is equal to 16 into 0 plus 20 into 8, which is equal to 0 plus 160, and that is equal to 160. Now, 
at the point L with coordinates 1, 5, Z is equal to 16 into 1 plus 20 into 5 and this is equal to 16 plus 100 which is equal to 116. Now at the point N whose coordinates are 2, 4, Z is equal to 16 into 2 plus 20 into 4 and this is equal to 32 plus 80 which is equal to 112. Again at the point B with coordinates 10, 0, Z is equal to 16 into 10 plus 20 into 0 which is equal to 160. Hence, minimum value of Z is equal to 112 which occurs when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4. But if the region would have been bounded, this smallest value of z is the minimum value of z. But here we see that the feasible region is unbounded. Therefore, 112 may or may not be the minimum value of Z. Since the feasible region is unbounded, we graph the inequality sixteen x plus twenty y less than one hundred twelve or four x plus five y less than twenty eight now this is the line representing the equation 4x plus 5y is equal to 28. Now here the green shaded region in this graph excluding the line 4x plus 5y is equal to 28 represents the open half plane 4x plus 5y less than 28. Now we have to check whether this resulting open half plane has points in common with feasible region or not. If it has common points, then 112 will not be the minimum value of Z. Otherwise, 112 will be the minimum value of Z. But here, it has no point common with the feasible region. Thus, the minimum value of Z is 112 which occurs when X is equal to 2 and Y is equal to 4. So the optimal mixing strategy for the dietitian would be to mix 2 kg of food X and 4 kg of food Y and with this strategy the minimum cost of the mixture will be rupees 112. Hence the answer for this question is least cost of the mixture is
rupees 112 and this is obtained by mixing 2 kg of food eggs and 4 kg of food y so this completes our session I hope the solution is clear to you bye and have a nice day